Welcome, Cancer, to your weekly reading. This is for the 31st of July to the 7th of August. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Cancer, I'm going to start off by pulling your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. And then I will go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get a deeper insight and messages. Cancer, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first card you're getting is number four, higher power. Now, if you can see, Cancer, we have a very faint figure here, but there is like a little key that is lighting up the third eye. It tells me that this week your intuition is on point. It's the key to the door. If you are looking for any guidance, for any answers, you let your intuition be your compass. With higher power coming through, it also lets me know you are very connected to spirit. And that if you just call on spirit in any way, be it through prayer, ritual, meditations, anything like that, Cancer, you have spirit at your back. You have quite a big energy with number 46 coming through, regeneration. And when we get this energy, it's the energy of something that could have even seemed to have been dead or gone, dormant. All of a sudden, there is life there again. And finally, you have number 20, imagine. And imagine is the energy of now being able to pull down a dream, a wish, a manifestation from the spiritual plane down to the physical plane. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a tarot card for each of our core messages and then I will come back around again and clarify even further to get deeper insight. So let's see now what we have coming in for cancer, please, for this week. What do we have coming in for cancer? We've got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So we are going to start off here, and I'm just going to clarify the Nine of Cups energy for you. Right, let's see now what this Nine of Cups energy is for Cancer, please. Let's see what we have for you. The Six of Wands. With these cards coming out, Nine of Cups speaks to us of a wish fulfillment. Six of Wands speaks to us of a victory, a win. And because it's sitting under higher power, if you remember in the beginning, I mentioned there there was a little key sitting in the third eye chakra. You have an open gateway this week, Cancer. What that means is that this is the perfect week to work on manifesting dreams and wishes. It's the perfect week to work with spirit. It's the perfect week to trust your intuition. You have great possibility with a combination of these two cards of bringing in something that is very meaningful to you. And when you bring this energy in, you're going to realize how connected and how strong you are. Strong in trusting your own intuition, your own wisdom, your own wise oracle deep within and trusting the guidance from spirit. If you can see here on our Six of Wands card, we have this young chap on his horse above the rest of the pack. Whatever this Nine of Cups energy is, it's going to give you this elevation, this boost in this particular area. 
Now, where this comes through is going to be in an area that is very relevant and very specific to you. So this could be in your love life, Cancer, your work life, your family life. It'll come through in an area that means something to you. But we do see something very beautiful happening here. And what I love to see with this energy is how you are going to use your inner guidance system and the direction from spirit in getting a wish fulfillment. Lovely energy to see. Let's move on now and see what the nine of wands energy is that is sitting under regeneration. So we want to see what is this nine of wands energy for cancer, please. Ace of Swords. Okay. Cancer, this is a very interesting energy. What I'm seeing here is that there might have been some area in your life. This could be anything, Cancer. But things went very quiet. Almost to the point of people perhaps thinking that there was no chance of this ever happening for you. With the Nine of Wands energy coming out here, it tells me that you, my dearest Cancers, never gave up hope for whatever this was. Now, this could have gone quiet for days, weeks, months, even years. But Cancer, you never gave up hope. Now, the Nine of Wands tells me you probably just kept quiet about it. But inside of you, you kept this light burning for whatever this was. And I don't think it was easy. Because Nine of Wands also lets me know that there were days that it really left you feeling tired, weary, despondent with the energy of when? How long do I have to wait? When is this effort going to break? Cancer, what do we see now is the Ace of Swords. If ever we wanted to see confirmation of a breakthrough coming in, here's the perfect card. Ace of Swords tells us the hand of God comes through with the sword of clarity, the sword of an answer, a solution. You understand how to get out of this dormant energy. You are now able to revive this energy. I get a feeling of you being very quiet about it. I'll just give you a simple example. Just say that you have wanted to meet somebody significant. It doesn't matter how old you are, Cancer. You could be in your 20s, 30s, or your 70s, or your 80s. It doesn't matter. You want to have somebody significant in your life. But for the longest time, it just has not happened. And perhaps the people around you were like, oh, Cancer's never going to meet somebody, and that's the end of that. But you did not give up, Cancer. You kept that light burning. You defended what you wanted, even though it looked like it was not possible. This is the week you get some kind of divine insight. Now, Cancer, this Ace of Swords could very well be connected to our key to the gateway. So no wonder we are seeing here Nine of Cups and Six of Wands energy because it's relating now to something that perhaps everyone around you thought was not possible, thought that this is not going to happen for cancer, but because you have never given up hope. Here it comes, your answer, your solution, the key to the door, and you find your way to start growing it. Now, I've just given you a romantic scenario. Cancer, this could be anything. It could be something in terms of expanding your family, moving to a new home, finding the perfect job, opening up your own business. It'll be something that is relevant to you. But what a wonderful energy we see is that by you holding on, never giving up, 
you are getting something incredible. You're getting a regeneration energy. Wonderful to see. Now let's see what our King of Pentacles energy is that is sitting under Imagine. So we want to see now what this King of Pentacles energy is for Cancer, please. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, this is an incredibly positive energy for my Cancers who are wanting to meet a soulmate. This is a very strong confirmation for us. When we get the king and the queen of the same suit in the tarot coming out, it speaks to us of a soulmate connection. But we can look at this many ways. So first, we will acknowledge that this in a romantic scenario is incredibly auspicious. So it lets me know if this is what you have been dreaming about, imagining, doing your visualizations on. You have great possibility this week of meeting somebody significant. But it does not have to be only in a romantic scenario, Cancer. If you have been hoping, dreaming and wishing of meeting somebody who is an excellent friend, who is somebody who will always have your back and be there for you. If you want to meet somebody who compliments you in a work scenario, be it a business partner, a supplier, a client, an employer, an employee, this can speak to that as well. It's a beautiful energy of a divine connection. This could very well be connected to our other two energies. So this could really be one cohesive story. Let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we just want to see now what is Cancer's spirit animal for this week, please. And you have got number 23, Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. So the numbers 2 and 3 are your auspicious numbers this week. The eagle is your spirit animal. So wherever the eagle comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, Spirit has your back. And my dearest Cancerians, we saw that right from the beginning with our higher power energy. And as you moved through with your regeneration, you now igniting something that is significant to you. And you now pulling down something from the spiritual plane that is manifesting on the physical plane. Work with spirit, my dearest Cancerians. Work with your intuition and you are going to have an exceptionally good week. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.